Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm gonna show you my weapon today. This is the ballpark, and I'm just gonna start out by showing you the entrance to my field. Right here is mode path. Going behind left field wall. This is all just fencing. Besides that, uh, these are woods. It's kind of out here in the pasture, but I mowed it down. There's the line paint. We're going to start out at home plate and just go from there. Created this wiffle ball field in 2013 this year. That's when it was established. We'll start out with features up here. We got the scoreboard right here, uh, just a whiteboard. We have our backstop. We can hit anywhere on the chairs that we play. If there's a play at home, hit anywhere at the chair. It has to hit in the air. Same with the strike. It has to be in the air. But can hit anywhere on the chair. Backstop is a tin thing. There's some tin platelet. Here we have our BP ball. To hit BP and take grounders with before games. We got our bats. There's our warm up stick that we hit grounders with. Here's a. Very, it's just a generic bat, I guess, is what you could call it. Another one, it's really sweet. The original yellow with a ball bat, it's a different tape job. And sand lot stick, it's my favorite. So there's the bats, here's home plate. This is dug out up here, so it's really nice. Take you down first baseline, um, 33 feet are the base lengths. One of the features I have here is dirt around all my bases. Kind of like how they do. Um, kind of like how they do at the Blue Jays field. And I kind of got this from watching Finzenzo Field SV Lefty on YouTube. He has it. Mine's not as cool, but hey, do mine different. Still looks really nice. So we'll go over to second base. All right, we'll go down right field line, all the way down. All the way down is a no. All the way down here is 100, 10, 102 feet to right, and it's about 99, 99 to left. Kind of the base path. You know, second, I like second better. The dirt's a lot richer. Second base, center field. The dirt is a lot richer here, and all I've done is just done a circle pattern around them, around the bases. We'll go take you to third. Which is the same thing that I've dug out dirt. Here's the mound. Now we're going to do kind of how the seats are. Um, we can have chairs over here where we remote it, down third base line, but one thing about our league is you do have to make reservations in one spot, it's right there, the outfield seats. We're gonna take you to the outfield now. By the way, the right field wall is a tarp. Hold on by this post. Here's the fans entrance right here. If you're gonna sit down this way, you have to go here. I don't think we're gonna start allowing them to sit on third base since it's so close to the woods. I don't think they'd wanna sit there. So back over here to the entrance of the players is the entrance with the center field wall, center field seats. I can bring chairs and we already have three chairs here. Here's the path to get in here. And here are the seats. Right here directly from home plate right down. Um, those seats are directly from home plate, like I said. Here's the seats. You can fit probably maybe six. You could probably have two rows, a row right here and a row right here. I don't know if they'd want to do that. American flag. It's a really nice field. The grass is really green. It used to be really 
bad because we just didn't get a lot of rain. So I started sprinkling it with water. Uh, hmm. We do have a 2013 trophy. It's over there under that tarp. You'll see it at the end of the year as I post videos. And as I said, we weren't going to put a league. This is now a real league, and it is going to be serious. I know I may have said that on my channel, but it is going to be serious, and we are going to have teams. My team is the Elite. This is the Elite Ballpark here, home of the Elite. And with me, Bradley Cronister, my Bryson Myers, Ethan Caldwell, we will make up the Elite. The other team is the Nike Prospects with Colton Croft, Connor Croft, and Revan Harper. Um, then we have two other teams that don't have their names yet, their team names. Um, we have Caden Quinalti, we have AJ Johnson, and Seth Haynes. Then we have Braden Howard, Heath Finley, and Dylan Ridenauer. Those are the rest of the teams. They don't have names yet, so unless they come up with one, we'll give them a name. Uh, out here, we just have some things out here, you know. Just, we have hats. That's, we're associated with the Texas Rangers. We have AAA teams here, and if we let them play, we bring it. We bring their players up, actually. I brought up Bryson Myers from the Rangers. We we are associated with the, um, with the Rangers and the Royals. That's our two teams. Here is the... Runner-up World Series championship right here. Two bats, fire, and two ribbons. This is just some fencing with T-post. Right here is my favorite part in left field. Hit a ground shot at that wall, and it will bounce off coming at you, kind of like the MLB walls. That's just a tarp. Here's Texas Rangers associated with them. Our American flag. Uh, Adidas helmet, we're associated with them too. We're associated with Nike. There's the Royals. Some people may think this is crappy, but when it's not windy and it's not all loaded out like this, it's like a, a real wall. It acts like a wall, it'll bounce off. And that's the only problem with it, is when it's in wind. Other than that, it is a great wall. Serves, right? I will go ahead and show you the trophy. I said I wasn't going to. Other than that, we don't have real foul poles. We have sea posts painted yellow. And now, some of you might laugh at this. You know, we couldn't get one of those trophies like I've seen MLW. You know, Schultz family, them. Our trophy is a lot different, but I mean, it's homemade. That's the fun of it. And it's homemade and I've tried to make it look kind of okay. It's a trophy though, that's all I'm saying. It's a World Series trophy. And it's the best I could do, so I mean you can comment about it, laugh at it, whatever. But hey, I didn't want to go out and spend a lot of money on a trophy when I could just make one. Like I said I didn't have to invest in a lot on this field. Most of it was just money I already had. and stuff I already had. I will be posting videos of opening day, games, pitches, highlights, any of that stuff. Um, I'll post videos of pitches, my pitches, um, our pr team practice for the Elite. 